China appears to be easing its economic retaliation against Seoul for deploying the THAAD missile defense system on South Korean soil. Korean retail giant Lotte Mart reactivated its Chinese website on Tuesday after being forced offline for several weeks. Kwon Jang-ho has the details. Lotte Mart's website in China is back online. For two months, the website simply said it was under repair, but now it's been reactivated and open to Chinese shoppers. It was originally taken down around the time Chinese authorities halted operations in 74 of 99 Lotte Mart stores in China, citing failures in safety regulations. According to analysts, the shutdown has represented revenue loss of some 270 million US dollars over the last three months. Beijing's measures against Lotte fueled speculations that they were a form of retaliation on Seoul's decision to deploy the U.S. missile defense system THAAD to the Korean Peninsula. Although the Chinese government has denied this, it has also expressed its anger and opposition publicly over the deployment of THAAD, saying that the missile defense system hurts China's security interests. Amid Lotte Mart being forced to close its stores in China, other Korean companies, ranging from retail to entertainment, were all hit by suspected economic retaliations as well. But now, hints of recovery in the relationship are starting to be seen. After a practical total ban on Korean entertainment products in recent months, three Korean musicals are set to take stage in China, the first of which is scheduled to start its run as early as June. The K-pop chart section has also reappeared on one of China's biggest music streaming sites, QQ Music, after disappearing in March. Although there is still a long way to fully mend damaged businesses and exchanges, it seems like Seoul and Beijing are gradually taking steps towards recovery. Kwon Jang-ho, Arirang News.